Okay, folks, I wanted to do a little bit of a review on how to create root position seventh chords. So from our last video, um, we had talked a little bit about what comprises each type of seventh chord. So we said that the MAJ, the major seventh or the major major seventh, has a major triad with a major seven. The major minor seven, or just the one that we label with seven only, has a major triad and a minor seventh. The minor seven or minor minor seven has a minor triad with a minor seven. The half diminished seven um, has a diminished triad with a minor seven. And the fully diminished seven has a diminished triad with a diminished seven. So let's create some of those. What we would do here is we would take our root position triad. We would make an E flat minor triad. So we're in bass clef. Let's make an E flat minor. We've got, ooh. Hello, we've got E flat. Um, if you want to, you can consider, got B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat. Nope, E flat, friend, there we go. So E flat, G, B flat. We know we need to make it minor, and then we need to add a minor seven on top of it. So we've got D. D natural is our major seven, and we need a minor seven, so we need D flat. Now, if you're somebody who does this based on the scale, your E flat major scale, you have E flat, F, G, A flat, B flat, C, D, E flat. Your minor third is a G flat, and this is a major seven. You need a minor seven, so there's how you get your D flat. All right, our next one is a C sharp, fully diminished seven. So we need a diminished triad and a diminished seven. C sharp major, we know everything is sharp in C sharp major. So let's do C sharp and boot. So C sharp is gonna stay our root. And then normally we would have E sharp and G sharp and B sharp if we had it all major but we need a uh, minor third and a diminished fifth, and we need a diminished seven. So let's check it. Let's see, we've got C sharp, G sharp, mm -hmm. hello friend. C sharp, D sharp, E sharp, F sharp. G sharp, A sharp, B sharp, C sharp. Okay, so we've got our G natural makes our diminished fifth. E natural makes our minor third. And then our minor seven is B natural and our diminished seven is B flat. So double checking, we have the right answer for C sharp fully diminished seven. Now let's make a C major seven. C major has no sharps, no flats. If we just write C, E, G, B, we've got it. That's it, we don't have to do anything to it. We've got a major triad and a major seven. So we're good to go there. All right, then let's do some in treble clef. We've got G half diminished seven. So first let's put our G, G, in our major scale, we would normally have G sharp. So this is a perfect fifth and a major third, but we need a diminished triad. So we're going to lower that fifth and we're gonna lower that third. Oh heavens. Lower the fifth and lower the third, and then we need a minor seven on top. Normally we would have G sharp or um, F sharp, so if we leave it as F natural, that is a minor seven. Again, if you're somebody who does it with the scale, normally we would have G, B, D, B flat, D flat gives us our diminished triad, and then our minor seven. Okay, let's look at B flat seven. That is a major triad with a minor seven. So let's get our B flat, D 
F, A. In B flat major, we would have B flat and E flat. So that tells us we have a perfect fifth and a major third. And so A natural would technically be our major seven. We need a minor seven, so we're gonna flat that. Okay, now, if you're somebody who does it based on the scale and not based on the key signature, B flat, C, D, E flat, F, G, A, B flat. Let's see, G, we've got B flat, D, F, that's our major triad, but we need a minor seven, so we lower that A to an A flat and we're good to go. Our last one is A major, major seven. So we need a major triad with a major seven on top. So in A major, we have F sharp, C sharp, and G sharp, which means we need to put a C sharp there and a G sharp there. Or if you read it out with the scale, A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G sharp, A. So we need A, C sharp, E, G sharp. Okay, well, that is not an eraser. Okay, there we go. That is creating our seventh chords from the notation.